This is uh, Bob Hall with Halsam Farms. Today I want to show you a little bit about our potato garden. This year what we did is we got these 25 gallon cloth uh, sacks and when we started planting we filled them up about 8 inches with soil, put in the potatoes, covered them up, and then as the plant grew we continued to add soil. Now we're coming towards the uh, end of spring and some of these are starting to die off. So we want to come and I know we're supposed to let them sit for a couple weeks. This one, I want to go ahead and harvest this and see see what we get. Okay, he's got a lot of roots on that one. And as I pull these up, I can just throw them into the food forest. Uh, chop and drop type program where they'll just break down and become part of the forest floor. bags is they're all reusable and when we're done looking for potatoes here we'll put the dirt back and then we'll put our sweet potatoes in here Tell the seed potato, see all the roots coming off of it? It's dark, not nice and light like the new potato. Now, I saw online several videos where people had done stacking. Uh, some used tires, some used wood boxes that they added to, and you know, all that is the same principle as these sacks. Nice thing is they're reusable. The uh, downside is they cost a little bit of money, but nothing I saw on YouTube showed any success. Of They had a few potatoes at the very bottom. at the very top, but the yields were very, very poor. Our yields seem 
to be a little better, but not, you know, I was hoping for 50 pounds of potatoes. Of course, that's just joking, but, you know, 8 to 12 pounds would have been the goal. But I think, I thought when I watched the YouTube videos, the problem, I thought, in my mind, was everybody was using dirt. And the dirt, when they were pulling them up, was very compacted. And I think it was making it difficult for the potatoes to flourish. Yeah, we're still finding them. And uh, so when the plant first started, it started putting out some tubers, and that's why they had some on the bottom. And then I think there was some relief at the top, and maybe that's why the potatoes were growing. They had a couple at the very top. But everyone I saw said that it was probably going to be their last time to do stacking of potatoes because they deemed it not being successful. And I think, and from what I'm seeing here, it still looks pretty good, I think it's a soil issue. Because what I did is I have 50% potting soil and 50% compost. Potatoes take a lot of compost to grow. doesn't seem to have been a problem and as I've dug through here it pretty much looks like at the end of it looks like we had potatoes all throughout so the stacking did work that's not eight pounds of potatoes but it's a better yield than what I saw most people getting off the internet. So when we go to harvest these others, I'll make some more videos and we'll see how we we do. Yeah, look at this. A couple more potatoes. The beauty of harvesting this way, small ones, is uh, you don't damage potato. Every other method I've ever tried, no matter how careful, and that looks like there's one of the seed potatoes. Put that out. Girl, become part of the forest floor. Anyway, no matter how careful are potatoes are so delicate you always damage potatoes in harvest All right, here's the total harvest. Three totes of potatoes came to right at eight pounds. Not exactly the harvest. I was really expecting eight to 12 pounds per bag, and it took three bags of this particular potato to make eight pounds. So we'll have to take a look. Uh, I've got four different types of potatoes growing and we'll keep an eye and I'll report on how the other ones fare and see if uh, yield has anything to do with the type of potato. 
for now. This is Bob Hall with Hallsome Farms. Thanks for watching.